think we're all ready for our very special guest. Uh, today we are joined um, by the ass-kicking, throat-punching, Ava-loving sister Beatrice on Netflix's Warrior Nun. Uh, it is not my job. It is my pleasure to introduce Christina Tonteri Young. Thank Welcome, you. Christina. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. We are very excited. Um, can you please tell us what you have been up to, um, you know, for the past few weeks since Warrior Nun's been coming out besides promoting and streaming Warrior Nun? Um. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I mean, yeah, that obviously. And um, yeah, I've, I took a road trip. So I started off in New York and I ended up in California. So drove across country and broke down multiple times <laughs> and uh, <laughs> panicked multiple times. <laughs> So I've been uh, trying to manage my stress. That's what I've been doing. I've been trying to function. <laughs> how how um, long does that take? Um, I mean, you can do it in like four ish, five four days. But we took it easy because we have like an older car. So I was trying to not, you know, break down more than we did. Um, so it took us ten days. Good. Wow. What kind of car was breaking down all the time? Uh, we have a Dodge Sprinter. Nice. So wow. Classic. Day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she's not, she's not doing so good. <laughs> Any camping or was it like hotels or did you guys? No, we were like, we were like camping and then like oh. nice, like, like rest stops and stuff like that. Nice. And uh, it's fully self-sufficient. So you can do, you can cook and take showers and go to the bathroom That's minutes. So. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Did you, did you stop at any crazy roadside, like giant ball of yarn, kind of weird roadside attractions that you have in America no. where you're like, come see this weird giant log or whatever, you know, like when you're driving <laughs> cross country. There was some kind of thing that we all, literally, it was called like the thing. And it was in, I think it was in New Mexico. We've been there to the thing. Yeah. I don't even remember what it was, but we have, yeah. we have stopped at the thing. The what thing. is it? Yeah. I forgot. Um, but we didn't go because we were too afraid the van was going to break down. Oh. We were just like, get us to California and we will be happy and grateful. <laughs> so that's what we did. We just, we just came here. We were like, we spent a few days at a mechanics, like parking lot. And then we were like, we got to just try to make it there. Power through. Could have just taken a plane. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, it's, the, it's so easy though. It's like, that's so simple. Why, why take a plane? Yeah. Uh, what why, was... why not just make it hard for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> what were some of the highlights if you had to put it you know um the desert was great i mean mm -hmm. like coming through new mexico was awesome um and then i mean it rained a lot so highlight was you know not dying on the shore <laughs> of the <I> <laughs> like as the 18 wheelers like whiz by you oh, this close no. you're like i'm okay it's fine. <laughs> damn i get it now <laughs> any flat tires that you had to change or just yes two. Oh, oh my god we blew both back tires at the same time <gasps> oh my god um, yeah and okay in, in i think we, we were in new mexico yeah so just before we went, we went into like desert desert wow and it was super windy as well so everything was kind of going like this and then everything was started going more like this and then we we're like that's, uh -huh. <laughs> that's not good let's pull over and then both both back tires were pretty much like stripped and whoa gone and there was okay. nothing like visibly on the road they would just they just wore out so wow guys check your tires I, yeah i just had a flat tire today safety. i just i just got back from getting a change so i get it nail in the tire yeah you need to decompress this is it sounds like a stressful 10 days yes it's, it's a little <laughs> stressful we were like driving and every little noise the car made we were like <laughs> not fun at all oh, what a way to relax and de-stress then <laughs> uh, we're here now we made it we're very grateful we're here. awesome yeah. so what are your plans now that you're going to be there for a little while um so the plan is to move here permanently so oh, we're hmm. around in nice. the van for a little bit and then just looking for work and um apartment cool so we haven't exactly decided where yet but okay. probably, yeah probably not like in LA proper, but somewhere. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So you're in San Diego? Yes. Right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. San Diego is better than LA. We're all in LA. Yeah. I'd say I'd suggest San Diego. Yeah. yeah. Everyone LA... of my friends who's lived in LA has been like, don't live in LA. Yeah. 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 LA has its good points. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure it does. Yeah. As a visitor, it was great. I'm just, yeah. Right. 
right and you're into surfing right so yeah. definitely san diego is great for yeah. that too well i know um for me i feel like i'm cheating if i'm not watching warrior nun i feel a little <laughs> dirty so i've been <laughs> it's a little hard for me to stray so i, go I think a lot of people that. listening can probably relate so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was what a couple of weeks ago that you you binged all of season two, and then I finished it yesterday, the whole series. And so I and I feel like I don't know if you've seen any any of the chatter online, but it feels like to me, like there's this buzz, this this excitement, like on Twitter and everywhere. And I know we had talked to Nora Dominic, who is a entertainment reporter for Buzzweed, Buzzfeed, not Weed. Buzzfeed. Um, <laughs> that's a different site, different, different yeah. website, uh, much more laid back. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so she was saying people had been telling her watch warrior nun watch warrior nun. she's like okay okay i'll do it and then she did it in like three days and now she's out right she just put an, uh, an article out today about like why you have to watch this show so yeah. i feel like i'm seeing so much more of that of people like discovering it now that season two had, has come out that hadn't watched it before and just like wait where where is this show but this is fantastic and um so i don't know if you've seen any of that because i feel like i'm seeing a lot of people just like really jumping onto this yeah, I mean, it's incredible how much, um, how good the reception of season two has been. And I see people like who didn't watch season one when it came out going back, being like, oh, shit, I should probably go and watch the first season so I can watch <laughs> the second season. And people being like, should I watch some people being like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, the reception online has been great. And it's all the fans are so fun. And, and it's really fun to, to interact with them. And, and they're also generous. And the art is great. And yeah, it's one of the most talented fandoms I've ever seen. Um, so yeah, no, I'm incredibly grateful for the good reception of it. And uh, I'm actually going to BuzzFeed uh, next week. <laughs> nice. Oh. Something with them. So yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Did you get recognized at all on your road trip or have you been recognized in person? Uh, I've been recognized in New York, but not on the road trip because we didn't inter interact with that many people. Right. Okay. <laughs> Have you have you met anyone or gotten pictures from fans that are cosplaying you now, Beatrice? Uh, yeah, there was a there was one person who went as like uh, I don't know which Comic Con it was. It might have been might have been San Diego or or uh, L A. But somebody went as like a fusion of Beatrice and Ava. It was actually <laughs> really cool. They had like the halo, and then they had like nunchucks, and yeah, it was awesome. Nice. <laughs> I mean, that I must be a trip, right? To uh, someone who's who has caused played before to now be on a show where you are being the subject of being called. I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, it's a, definitely a bit of a full circle moment here. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like we're gonna sure. see a lot of it in the future. I feel like now after season two, I bet we see a lot of groups of like nuns and warrior nuns and <laughs> like ran, walking around um, comic conventions and with weapons and and uh i can't wait to see the the costumes that come out of this yeah me too and i can just go as a nun as well and then everybody's like you really look like the her and i'm like yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is the Very best true. beatrice i have seen at this con <laughs> i think it'd be fun to do just walk around and see if anybody <laughs> would like yeah. they're like oh my god you totally picked the right character to do <laughs> like i did didn't i really embody that character yeah. um so i was looking at your instagram and so here's a question personal to me do you have a cat because i yeah. saw the cutest kid is that your kitty yes that's my kitty she was just walking around on a table that's oh why was she was reaching around was like, <laughs> oh cool oh, well, luckily my cat that does that is asleep or he would be doing the same thing but she was precious and i saw this like oh is she a cat person because that's <laughs> Yeah. Oh, here we go. Cat cameo. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, what's happening? Nope. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. The cat came on the road trip. Look at that. <gasps> was the cat on the road? Oh, there goes one now in my place. Um, <laughs> how was that? Yeah, she was fine. I mean, yeah. we kind of we got her used to the van, and then at first she kind of liked to hang out in the back because there's like there's like a bed in the back and then you have to go up like a step but inside the step there was there used to be like a cabinet but we took the cabinet door out and just made it into like a little den for her nice. so there's like the step and then there's like a box inside oh um, so at first she liked to hang out there when we were driving but then at some point she just started like coming to the front and she'd like just hang out on the armrest or like next between us because we have a massage table as well as because 
um we brought that over and then she would just sit on the massage table so. that's awesome yeah what's her name katarina oh oh katarina that's, <laughs> that's really adorable. cute nice. I just thought, <laughs> we found her and i was like i don't want to name her before i know i can keep her <laughs> and then the vet was like what's what's the name of the cat so that we can make the appointment and i was like cat 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 katarina <laughs> <laughs> so and we're like, I guess it'll, I guess that sticks. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Perfect. I can't believe I have not really encountered that many cats named Katarina. I'm going to have to suggest that. Yeah. I do cat rescue. So I'm like, I'm putting that on the list. For you. It's really cute. <laughs> yeah. First Katarina. <laughs> yeah. I, how have I not come across a cat with that name before? That's it's perfect. It's honestly it's great. Sassy motherfucker. <laughs> 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 uh. All right, Christina, it's time. So as we've talked about, the fans um, have really been a huge part of this show. And so we have a lot of questions to ask you that we're just curious about, the three of us. And then we've got a lot of submissions. I actually put a post up on Twitter yesterday, um, like around noon. And I was like, hey, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm going to see if anyone has any questions that maybe we'll ask Christina. Um and I said, okay, they got to ask by like noon tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, and then we got like um, over 250 responses. Um, so we're not going to ask all 250 <laughs> today. So, yeah. okay. You can, you can go on there if you want later. Um, so we have some, some... <laughs> that five hour thing we were talking yeah. about. <laughs> right. Um, so we have, we have some stuff and um, that we'll, we'll go over with you in a bit. And uh, if you're cool, you know, we'll just go over some, I, you know, we've got some Avatris questions for you. And just um, if you're, if you're down to, to answer some stuff. Um, yeah, we'll go for it. <laughs> um, first of all, uh, are you familiar with the whole Spotify wrapped thing going around right now? Yes, I can for the life of me figure out how to find out what mine is. Okay. No. <laughs> well, that was one of our <laughs> questions. Never mind. <laughs> well, what kind of music in general do you listen to? That was one thing um, we got. A lot of like early 2000s emo music. Okay. Nice. <laughs> um, and then like, if I'm in a really happy mood, like rock and, blue, rock and roll, I really like dancing. I really like diving. And so that kind of music. And then um, I'm a sucker for some classical I grew up around that. So mm. if I'm feeling really dramatic, I'll put on some opera. <laughs> wow. Um, and then, yeah, if I'm driving, okay. some like reggaeton or something. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Do you still play piano? I, uh, yeah, well, I, again, same thing. I haven't really exactly have been in a place where I could have a piano right. for a while. So I haven't played in a while. But yeah, okay. definitely a cool. useful skill to keep up. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right. Um, you think you can convince Simon in season three to have Beatrice, you know, when she's like going off to do her own thing, to have her be like learn to surf? Um, no. No? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't I, I actually don't know. Like it's Simon, so you never know. Like he might yeah. just pull something out of his back pocket. But just um, throw it out there. Just a yeah, just a thought. Just, just put it under okay. his door. You're like, please? Yeah. Um, All right. Well, no, well the yeah. <laughs> I can this see that come back in se season three and like Beatrice is off just like surfing yeah, in some like kind a, of beach community like a, and surfing or something. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah lives so, like, at a beach gone completely from like the nun <laughs> habit to like hanging out in a beach and bikini and surfing it's like who is this Beatrice so what's happening yeah my drinking margaritas she's got the drinking thing down by then yeah but Ava look where I am now yeah <laughs> so proud of me right and I was like, I'm supposed to convince you to come back, but actually, this looks really fun. So <laughs> I'm just going to stay here, here yeah. with you. <laughs> exactly. Uh, all right. Uh, these ones are a little bit of a thinker, so uh -oh. you know you might might need to come come back to these. What would a perfect date for Beatrice and Ava look like? Hmm. I feel like something like an observatory or like uh, something. First of all, maybe like a carnival and then like go to the observatory and like look at the stars and like something like that. Like something like instructive where you can learn something about the universe. <laughs> and, like, go to the carnival and go on the rides and like eat like, candy floss. <laughs> okay. 
Very nice. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> is there a song right now that you can think of that you would play over the season three Avatris reunion scene? <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back to that one. Okay. Yeah. We're going to circle okay. back. Yeah. It might, yeah, That's a tough might one. to go on my Spotify right now. Yeah. <laughs> Take a note. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you could give Beatrice relationship advice, what would it be? Um, chill the fuck out. <laughs> it's, it's good. Okay. okay. Everything is okay. Right. Chill out. Take a, take a deep breath, girl. <laughs> yeah, you do a gay panic really well. I just have to say, like, your moments, oh, like, you. of the, like, so oh, good. God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think this is, like, you touch me. Oh, God. In real life all the time. Like, so. yes. <laughs> it's like, I felt that. I was like, oh, God. Yeah, I've been there. Oh, my God. Yeah. It was so <laughs> good. Like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I felt I felt seen in those moments so thank you for sharing that very much uh all right uh okay who do you think was a better wingman Camilla or the girl in the bar well Camilla's the OG wingman mm. yeah. yeah Camilla yeah. will always be yeah. yeah okay all right um uh, what are you most looking forward to as the next step in Beatrice and Ava's relationship relationship in season three? Um, let's see. I mean, it'll be very interesting to see what kind of developments Ava's been through in the mm -hmm. time that they were apart and how that affects the dynamic in their relationship. Um, yeah, I think that's that's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'll be that'll be. I because I, I don't know what that will be yet, so I can't really right talk speak to that. But it'll yeah, be and and what's Beatrice gone through? I mean, my gosh, they're both gonna probably change a lot and mm -hmm. time yeah. jumps and uh, you know she's yeah. been surfing and <laughs> drinking explore, and right. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, the other side is a effed up place. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much to do there, but I'm sure there is. I mean, <laughs> I obviously. She's been over there twiddling her thumbs. Yeah, so it's always yeah. seen her like weird creatures and that, you know. Yeah, well, we saw, and... we saw what kind of development uh, Michael went through. So mm -hmm. I assume that Ava will go through something if not similar than, you know, hmm. of the same, in the same realm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I hope, I don't know. Michael's yeah, I mean, kind of a wet blanket, so I hope no. she comes back. Oh, <laughs> come on. I mean, I'm sorry. Oh, I've, Michael, I mean, he tried nice. to die for the cause. I know. <laughs> a wet <Boy>. blanket. <laughs> Just a little oh, Michael. Tara. I mean, he was being helpful. I know. <laughs> right. Best he could. He tried very hard. <laughs> he really, he really got the short end of the stick there at the end. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> hey, yeah. you should have all watched it all already. Yeah. Oh, Michael. I'm uh, sure she won't be a wet blanket. She'll be fine. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> She'll be fine. <laughs> she's got the halo, so she's good. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> all right. Um, and I know you talked a little bit about some of the direction or maybe the lack of direction you were given when you guys were doing the dancing scenes or some of the scenes where you were, you know, the long looks in each other's eyes or the, um, some of the, uh, what do they call it? The, um, your love language of the touching yeah. and the, <laughs> that sort of thing. Right. Um, but do you guys get to look at, you know, some of the shots afterwards and be like, oh yeah, okay. That was the one. That's the one. Um, or get um, to see it afterward, you know, and, and just say, okay, we need more of that. Or they, do they just tell you um, they, whether it's enough? They usually just tell us when it's enough. Okay. Because it's also a different thing if, like, there's a time issue. Um, Well, not issue, but there's a time restraint mm -hmm. of how many times actors can, you know, like, run between the screens and, and, and the set. Um, right. And so we basically just trusted the director whoever it might be at the time and and Simon to to know when it when they got what they needed um I mean obviously it's always nice to see in like right after see the playback but right sometimes it's just not how, how people work so you have to adapt are you pretty comfortable watching your own stuff back or do you nitpick or 
uh, you know, I know some actors don't even want to look at it. They're like, I don't even want to see myself. <laughs> but yeah. I feel a general sense of uh, unease um, and like tension as I when I watch myself. I don't like shy away from it, but mm-hmm. it's been it's been brought to my attention that I'll start watching like an episode and then halfway through the episode I'm curled up like a. <laughs> <laughs> like to like slowly get away from the screen oh no um but it's not like a, it's not like a conscious like oh god i really hate watching myself it's just like i'm like oh it's fine oh. and then it's just like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. during the fight scenes are you like i look awesome because i mean <laughs> i know there's stunt doubles involved there's editing but when you're watching yourself and, and the character doing the fight scene you're like that looks cool that looks yeah. you know compared yeah, to is. what it feels like on set which i know that you i think you guys do like a lot of kind of continuous takes where you're doing a lot of you yeah. know long fights but then when you see it all back with the effects and and all the things that they add to it i mean that's got to be pretty cool to see the final yeah. version of yeah for sure i mean the fight scenes are are one thing that i don't <laughs> don't try to yeah. cringe away from <laughs> um no it's just i mean the teamwork between the stunt team and everything it just makes everything pop and makes everything work um and yeah the fight scenes are one of the best things about the show <laughs> for sure yeah it has a different feel to them than i think other shows just the like i think people pointed out it's just like this sort of lyrical sort of i don't even know what the word is like not like dance but it just feels very fluid very mm-hmm. natural like like almost mm-hmm. even minimal like this the quick sort of you know very yeah. efficient Hmm. Uh, fighting and it's not just brutal i mean it's cool i like it it looks it looks amazing um there's there's definitely a musicality to it yeah yeah, there's the word when when a fight scene there's like a certain rhythm in it and sometimes that rhythm really works and sometimes it doesn't work Mm. um but like if you watch like old some like 1950s movies with like sword fights in them you can hear the rhythms and and that's like also in the in the theater like when you do stage fighting in the theater that's all, it works a lot on rhythm, um because you need to there's also lines that need to be said and everything has to kind of work, but then you have the luxury in film where you have like editing and you have music and everything so you can edit the the music to follow the fights and those are the most satisfying ones. <laughs> it's like, yes, all the clanging and the yelling goes together with the music and yeah, it, it just all worked out very well. Mm. I, I really yeah. enjoyed enjoy it all <laughs> <And then laughs> go off every now and then <laughs> just like even to pretend do you remember like day one of stunt training back in season one like the first thing you learned was there any bruises or blood and were you like what the hell am i doing here i think um there were bruises i don't <laughs> remember there being blood um, <laughs> that's good. Uh, good only only internal bleeding <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> um no I think the first things we did we did as a group it was um Lorena um Toya um Olivia and I just like kind of like a team building kind of stuff Hmm. um we learned to kind of do some drills with um pistols and guns and stuff and um yeah that was I think that was the first thing that we pretty much did when we went in was learn those drills and then learn how to like teamwork how to cover a room like if you're in a situation where you're like there's a closed door and you need to go cover the room and how to enter a room safely and how to how to clear a room safely um but that, all of that was pretty cool and then they gave me a bow staff and i hit myself uh-huh. with it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah does it give me any confidence like you're walking down the street and you're like you know i think i could take somebody do you have that false think of like, I, I do this. I might could fake my way through if if I had to, like, yeah, <laughs> actually take him defending myself. No, but the nice thing is like the, the stunt team are like, this is how we're going to do it in the movie. Uh-huh. And this is how you would actually oh. do it. So they do teach you like the real way to like, oh. like we're going to choke hold or like. That's cool. Someone's wrist or, you know, like, <laughs> stuff like that. So it's like, yeah, yeah. I yeah. can get away with something in a minor situation. <laughs> like if if I had, to. yeah. But then they're like, but don't do this version when we're filming because that will literally get them. Filming because that will hurt. Yes, that that will puncture their liver. So don't do that. 
<laughs> well, that's very responsible of them not to send yeah. you out in the wild with like, <laughs> right. these use, uh, useless skills that like, let you protect I'm yourself. Like, yeah, so. <laughs> when you punch someone in the throat, stop this this close to their throat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Like, it's like, well, it doesn't do anything, does it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so now we're going to get to the to the fan questions. Those are mm. just our questions. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we're fans too, so all right. So uh, first, a message from the fans that say, mm-hmm. um, tell her that we are staying hydrated, uh, taking care of ourselves, that we uh, we are, most importantly, we are, are still streaming Warrior Nun. So, yeah. All right. So one of the first ones we got that had the most likes, um, they want to know, how did you transition into acting, specifically auditioning, auditioning for Beatrice? Um, and did you audition for any other characters? And what was it like to get the part? Um how did I transition into oh, that's like three three part question yeah um, so how, how did I transition into acting one um well I stopped dancing um at around 14 ish and then I was kind of not really sure what I wanted to do so I was playing the piano a lot um trying to catch up on on years that I had been dancing and not playing the piano um and then I thought really hard about it and was like, no, I do like telling stories and I like, you know, being on stage and that kind of artistic expression. So I started looking at um, acting colleges and acting classes, um, lied my way into a few acting classes in New York. (laughs) That's Um, called acting. I mean, yeah. I'm already kind of okay at this <laughs> because it was I was still under 18 and they they weren't accepting anyone under 18. So I was like, yeah, I'm 18. Um, and kind of decided I liked it and then applied for a few colleges and got in. And yeah, and then I think it was it was like December of 2018, I believe. This would be like the first end of the first semester of our last year um, in college, I had met my agent and he, I hadn't signed with him yet, but I, he was sending me a few auditions already and an audition came through for Ava, Hmm. um, which I then went into um, Suzanne Smith's office, casting director's office and read for Ava and I, I like I kind of already knew that that wasn't gonna be the, gonna be the one for me. Like I I knew I wasn't really I wasn't that type of person that um they were looking for. So yeah, that wasn't no surprise that I didn't get a recall for that. But <laughs> a few weeks, I think it was like a week later or something, they sent me um sides for for Beatrice. They were like, let's try this one. So I went into the office again and um read. There was two scenes, I believe. It was the lunch table scene and the scene with Doretti. Um, so I think I read those two scenes with the casting assistant. And yeah, they didn't even do a callback. They were like, yes, you're perfect. Okay. Huh. And then the next thing I got a call from my agent being like, I'm not allowed to tell you this, but uh, yes. And, <laughs> and he was like, you have to pretend to be surprised when Simon calls you. So then Simon called me. <laughs> <laughs> I did the worst acting of my entire existence um, uh, but yeah and then I left pretty much soon after that that was like January end of January um, I left school early to do season one and hmm. uh, wrote my thesis while I was working on season one whoa, whoa. oh, whoa. oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> you think the cat did it wow I blame huh. the cat <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll just you sit have here. To, you have to keep <laughs> that Take a break here. Oh, no. Oh, no, look. Hey. That's a first. <laughs> that was Is that Katarina? <laughs> Kat- Katarina. Uh, Katarina. Yeah. <laughs> she just like stuck on my computer. <laughs> um. So sorry, you said you you were writing your thesis while shooting season one. Yeah, so I had like a 10, 10 day break um, from shooting and I just like shotgunned my thesis in those 10 days. Whoa. Um, wow. 
yeah. that's really impressive. I, yeah, it was it was pretty stressful. Wow. I had no idea what I was doing. I was like, because it was a pretty broad like, um, they they weren't like write about this. They were like, you can pick what you want to write about and hmm. just talk about your process and stuff like this. And I was like, I'm yeah. <laughs> my process. <laughs> So, yeah, so the, then, yeah, I wrote my thesis and we finished filming and graduated and everything. Wow. Was right. Wow. wow. So, yeah. That's impressive. You're a very ambitious person. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. you do what wow. you got to do. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Very cool. All right. Uh, next question. Do you think we'll get to see Beatrice's archery skills in season three? I hope so. That would okay. be very cool. I agree. Yes. <laughs> what's okay. what what's your favorite weapon that you've used so far in the first two seasons? Um I let me try to think. Uh, I, I I like the I, I like the bow staff, I think, the most. Um, the retractable one. That's so cool. Yeah, the retractable That's... one. <laughs> Pretty fun. Um, I just like to be far away from people when I hit them. I don't want to be like <laughs> I don't want to be like you know at arm's length. Yeah, don't that want the blood sense. splatter to get you. Yeah, you know? yeah, that makes sense. Imagine the laundry bills. Yeah. <laughs> but no, the the knives are a bit too unpredictable for me personally. Mm, um, right. But yeah, yeah, probably the stuff. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so these questions are. All over the place. All right, here we go. Moving on. Who fell first and who fell the hardest? Um, ooh, I think Beatrice. For both. Hmm. First. First. And okay. Then I yeah. I actually, I don't know. For hardest. Hmm. Both pretty well matched. Okay. <laughs> In my opinion, I'd say that that look that Ava gave in um, the first episode of season two yeah. was pretty hard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, here's one. Who's the big spoon and who's the little spoon? Um, I feel like Ava's the big spoon. Okay. Huh. Fair yeah, enough. I <laughs> well, I mean, it. look, if Ava's the little spoon and you know, all of a sudden the halo starts going off. Oh, yeah. I mean, right. it's probably better to have her in the back. I mean, halos, outside. you know, that might be a little dangerous. That's right. smart. That is Spoon practical. in the halo. So, mm -hmm. always like switch choice. it up. Yeah, I don't want to like blow Beatrice off the bed by accident. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she gets <laughs> all <laughs> happy <Very> right <laughs> or something. Right. Right. And starts glowing. And... <laughs> yeah. That's a good yeah. point. Just keep the halo to the back. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, what was your favorite outfit that Beatrice got to wear in this season? And did you get to pick out anything yourself? Hmm. Um, my favorite outfit, probably the, the like grayish white shirt and the like dark gray pants. I really, really love those pants. Yeah. <laughs> those pants. <laughs> um, like, oh, yeah. you did oh no. <laughs> I really wanted those pants. Um but yeah, I mean, they, they brought out a bunch of stuff on the rack when we were doing our, like, initial initial costume um, fittings, and it wasn't like I got to tell them what I wanted, and then they just sourced it, but it was like, they brought out a bunch of stuff, and then I could be like, eh, I'm not sure if this is, you know, and then, I mean, Christina, the costume designer, she can tell when somebody's comfortable in something, and when they're a little bit like, eh. um, so, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Preventative there's cats. the culprit. Swoop. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I like this one. Okay. In season one, how did it feel talking to a giant stone and having to pretend that Ava was inside during a very emotional scene? I talk to stones all the time, so oh, yeah. not very strange. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, okay. They're good listeners. Yeah, they're very good <laughs> yeah. listeners. They just you know, absorb. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it was, it was, it didn't feel that strange, honestly. Um, I think out of all the pretty strange things we, we do on this show, that was not <laughs> the worst. Right. Fair enough. That's true. 
that's fair. Well, like actors are always talking to things that are just you know have this emotional speech with this CG creature and you know right. look at that with spot this ball right this the ball. tennis ball <laughs> yeah <laughs> so rock you know that's a it's a good yeah. scene partner at least the rock was there you know it like, was there for you it was <laughs> there for you in your eye line it and it, it listened yeah. and yeah. yeah good rock right. good rock. <laughs> Any thoughts on what Beatrice's inner monologue was when Ava kissed her? <laughs> and would you be willing to recite it in the English accent? Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, in a, I think her, you know, when something happens and your mind just goes blank and you just hear like white noise and then mm-hmm. like your ears start ringing and then everything starts slowly coming back. Mm-hmm. I'm like not sure there was an inner monologue. I think it was just like the realization of oh my God, it's happening. And then wanting to grasp the moment before it's gone. Mm. Um, Absolutely. So yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's a good not, answer. I'm not, I'm not sure I, there is an inner monologue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's your favorite Avatra scene? Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> the the I, well right now it's the um you're jealous that's absurd scene i like that one yeah okay. um but also the fight in the apartment is pretty pretty high up there on the list yeah that was one of my favorites too all right and what's your favorite meme to come out of this season meme um oh the um when I when Beatrice says that's absurd and they put all those like mathematical like equations, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> all the equations like, I like that one because I feel that one very deep in my soul. I've got a lot. I'm like, don't know what's that's going on. Adorable. Yeah. All right. And who in the cast uh, was usually the first to break character? I think we're all pretty, we're all pretty good. With not like corpsing or stuff like that, but I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know. Um, I think we're all pretty good at even if even if something's going horribly wrong, we try to stay okay. after until they call cut. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, there's the uh, Alba posted a clip of us hanging on the wires and laughing our asses off and still trying to do the scene. <laughs> um, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Um, very professional. Very professional. We were to the you end. Can hear us wheezing on the <laughs> yet stopping to say our lines and then starting to wheeze again after we finished. Um, but yeah, no, I think I want to say we're all pretty pretty good at not breaking character unless something goes terribly wrong. Mm. Um, yeah, right. I honestly don't know. <laughs> Okay, and if you could cast anyone to play Beatrice's parents, who would it be? I would cast um, Michelle Yeoh to play. Oh, that'd be great. (laughs) Excellent choice. And I would cast, let me see, what's his name? Come back to me on the dads. Okay. <laughs> Circle back. I can't, for, I can't remember this actor's name for the life of me. Okay. Uh, yeah. Where do you think the first place B is going in the fir- in the post credit scene? Hmm. Um, maybe back to Switzerland. I don't know. Okay. okay. So, you, so you didn't know, like, when you're leaving, you don't, you're just leaving. I like, they didn't, didn't tell know. you, like, hey, here's... Here's maybe where you're going, or yeah. wow, so we'll yeah. they'll we're just like, figure it out later. <laughs> <laughs> just leaving. <laughs> yeah. All right. And if Beatrice was ever to get a tattoo, what would she get, and where? Um, I think it would be in this life. Oh, uh-huh. that is a good. Oh, I bet there's a lot of those tattoos out there now. Or they're gonna be. There's I, gonna know, be. I know there are because oh. I've written down some of them for people to. Ah. Tattoo. Oh, cool. 
yeah people were like um can we get your handwriting so I like wrote down oh so that's there cool. are some on some people's arms and stuff like that the cool. whole thing in this life or the next it's like yeah. the whole for one ah um nice because apparently I have like decent handwriting <laughs> 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 well that's good that helps <laughs> they don't have they can have a readable tattoo as opposed to yeah um i don't know where though <laughs> probably somewhere she could see it mm. yeah, okay. well with with beatrice's outfits usually i mean you could get it anywhere no one else is seeing it yeah, that's you're true. Usually, you know she's pretty covered I mean, now new Beatrice going off to well, surf. No, about new Beatrice. Who she knows where that's going to be? Tops. <laughs> right. Yeah, just tattoo up and get some. <laughs> Everything's showing. Shows up for season three with a full sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. If you could do a body swap episode, hmm. who would you swap oh. with and why? Good question. Uh, as in another character. Yes. Um, Lilith. Oh my gosh. Her journey is pretty cool. Oh crazy. yeah. <laughs> she has the most whacked journey. Yes. Like <laughs> so interesting. Literal roller coaster. Seriously. And then wings. I mean, come on. Yeah. That hot yeah. wings. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all call her that on set? No, because <laughs> that's again like, hey, hot wings. I'm gonna do it from now on. I'm gonna call her. Hot yeah. wings. <laughs> you absolutely have to. <laughs> Sister, hot wings. Wow. All right. Well, thank you so much for answering all of those. That was oh, yeah. amazing. You are a very good sport. <laughs> <laughs> oh, any, wow. any, any thoughts on the dad? Uh, the dad? Yeah. Oh, Did it circling come to you? back. Look up this actor. I just. I, <laughs> just in um this will take like two seconds hey, half the things we talk about on the show we have to look it up yeah <laughs> while we're talking about it research uh i would like um the guy who played um the ship captain ike on 1899 uh i think it, i'm probably gonna butcher his name um but his name is andreas peachman oh or peachman um so he's a really fantastic actor. That would be a pretty cool mm. um, dynamic. He fits the age range. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't know 1899. Is that like a pirate show? No, it's uh, oh. it's like a, <laughs> so kind of like a sci-fi um, mind-bending kind of mm-hmm. like yeah. Puzzle. It's like a big puzzle. The whole show was like a big puzzle. You really have no idea. Oh, huh. interesting. Oh, cat alert. It's on. Yeah. <laughs> Get in here, baby. Oh. It's on. Oh, yeah. She just wants to be seen. It's okay. <laughs> Who just doesn't? That's right all there. Cat wants. <laughs> so cute. Oh, she's, she's like, so Mom, small. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> How old is she? Um, you know? She's 10, 10 months, I think now. Oh, yeah, oh. She's a little, little baby. She's like toddler, teenager. Yeah, that's mm. really crazy. Yeah, she's always like, let me out. And then we let her out. And she's like, let me in. And I'm like, <laughs> she's like, hold me. Put me down. <laughs> wow. What do you want? From me? <laughs> what do you think Gosh. the hardest day on set was for season two? What was the most difficult day for you on set? Hardest day on set? Um, well, there was a bunch of night night shoots that were, we did a, we did a bunch of weeks consecutive night shoots. And I think probably towards the end of that, um, mm. we were all kind of losing it a little bit because we hadn't seen the sun in a in a month. <laughs> um, um, but I think stuff in the in Adriel's Cathedral in that like big concrete building, mm-hmm. um, that was pretty tough. It was really cold inside and like very humid, and just kind of felt like it got into your bones a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also like had a horrible cold. <laughs> which was not COVID, but I had a horrible cold. <laughs> and if you had COVID, obviously you were in quarantine, but if you had a cold, you were like... <laughs> suck it, suck it up. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> awesome. Trying to manage that as well as being in this cold place. So, mm. but yeah. Was and that a sound? One, was... of the, one of the PAs, like they put out like a crash mat 
in one of the tents in one of the green room tents and she just like passed out on him like that <laughs> summarizes oh, how all of us felt at this point <laughs> yeah and was that a sound stage or were you, was that loca- a location? The that was a location. Stuff? It was. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, it was like a construction site for like a big, like Olympic sized pool. Whoa. Um, that was abandoned. Like they had abandoned the construction project. Uh huh. So they put in all the concrete foundations, but they hadn't actually hmm. built anything around it. Um, so it just looked like a huge car park, like a multi level car park. But- mm mm-hmm. It was just dark and wet, <laughs> wow. cold and echoey wow. and dusty. Interesting. Yeah. Because yeah. there's so many different sets that we saw within that, you know, the cathedral. And it was like kind of confusing to keep track of like, okay, they're just in some random co- concrete corner. Yeah. Was it just really big? You could just grab and locate like a set wherever you, whatever you guys set up a. Yeah. A so the, the actual building, um, I don't remember what it was exactly. So the, the big spiky round building. Um, is a real building. Um, I want to say it had something to do with the university or something, one of the university buildings. Um, Mm. And then inside of the big spiky building, the cathedral was a a stage. And when we see Adriel come out and and the whole thing with the Pope happens. um, So that was a stage. And then Mm. the basement or like below the cathedral was, was that pool. Wow. The pool that was never to be. <laughs> <You got it. laughs> the non-pool. The non-pool, yes. Wow. Yeah, I kept seeing it whenever they show the, the wide shot, the spiky building, I kept wondering, okay, is that really a building or did they take some other building and then digitally put little spiky things on it to make it look cool? But wow, that's a real building. <laughs> no, it was a real building, yeah. So cool. Great location. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was the most fun day on set on season two? Um, <laughs> Filming the church fight. I like almost died laughing. I could not. <laughs> I like I'm not asthmatic, but I I felt like I was having some kind of attack because I was just wheezing so hard. Um, and also the fight's great. I, I love that fight. That's it's like, a my great ones. fight. Yeah. yeah. And how long were you abroad filming overall from start to finish for four season half, two? Four and a half months. Oh wow. Jeez. Okay. That seems fast. We work very fast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Impressive. Not a moment to lose. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. And then so from start and you guys started when for season two? Um July. Of yeah, 2021? 2021. Yes. Okay. And then we finished in November. Okay. Just trying to mentally prepare myself for how long for season three. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> were there were there any scenes in season two that you guys shot that never made it to uh to air can you think of any like big scenes no no i don't think so um <laughs> there was yeah the only the only scene that i noticed was gone was the one where we were hanging on the wires and there was like a conversation that was supposed to happen but because it was like not possible <laughs> to do it <laughs> it wasn't working season, so we ended up having to reshoot the flying in the studio on the last day and then they had cut the conversation because it was kind of, it turns out we didn't really need it that anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was probably the only one. Yeah. Mm. I, mean, I think there's a few little lines here and there, but that's normal. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Got it. Hmm. Yeah. I think speaking of lines, I think one of the times I laughed the most <laughs> was in the finale of season one. With your reaction to Adriel's hand coming out of the thing when you're rescuing <laughs> oh, Ava, yeah. and you're literally like, for the buttoned up by the book <laughs> character that you are, and just to drop the what the fuck, I cracked <laughs> up. I feel like you hear that phrase a lot, you hear that line a lot, but I love it when it's delivered, like the timing and the delivery was perfect, and I just cracked up at that. I was like, now there, there's a place yeah. for that. That, that was, was a meaningful moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, you know. Beatrice earned that because that was <laughs> I like that. Uh, that cracked me up. Yeah, you gotta earn your cusses. You know, <laughs> and that's earned. I tell you, oh hey kitty. Um yeah, that's <laughs> that one was earned. And you know what? See a hand coming out of a rubble like that? Yeah, I'd do the same thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> I would probably say something much worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very nice controlled, calm delivery of the line. <laughs> that's Beatrice. <laughs> Is it ever kind of not hard, but 
you know, because Beatrice is very focused, very sort of still in a way, you know, the calming presence. I mean, is that, you know, is that easy to sort of just like channel everything and keep Beatrice focus that that sort of not stoic because it's not like she's, you know, not I don't know what the word. Not she's fun, ex- it's expressive. Yes. Yeah. 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 Just more like I, I but I like that level headed, like, you know, Beatrice, you know, she'll she'll be she'll lay it on the but she'll lay it down for you, you know. Yeah, she's solid. Yeah. She's solid. Yeah, solid, reliable, dependable. <laughs> um, no, I mean I mean she's very different from me. So. <laughs> Good reflex. Very different from me. So I mean I find it easier to play characters that are quite different from, from yourself. Mm. Um mm-hmm. but I mean never like a horrible challenge i think the i think the challenge was more to find the humor and levity right. played within that because she's quite like on one rounded level mm-hmm. um, so how do you find range in that so that was like mm-hmm. the, the more of more of a challenge hmm. yeah. is that the hardest part about playing beatrice is sort of what yeah. you just described as finding emotions within this sort of flat line yeah um Especially finding like lighthearted emotions, because mm-hmm. um, it's not only that she's grounded; she's also very serious. And she's a very serious person, and then to be able to play levity is is within that bracket is kind of it's challenging sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <sighs> it's funny you can't see it, but Katarina's walking behind you <laughs> earlier. So yeah, cute. it's very funny. It's very cute. Yeah, she- <laughs> <laughs> little poking your head out of it. Yeah. <laughs> but, no. <laughs> but that might be a meme later too. Who knows? Just <laughs> like hat, like coming into frame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Christina, we so appreciate your time and and Katarina uh, as well. So <laughs> yes, honorary member now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but thank you so much for being with us. And um, I know the fans so appreciate it as well. And oh, um, just everything you've been doing for for the fans, for the show, uh, it just means so much to us um, and uh, just really appreciate it. And we'll keep streaming for you and uh, for the show. And just thank you so much for being with us here today. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's lovely to meet you all. And uh, yeah, everybody just got to keep streaming. I know I have. <laughs> I've watched myself too many times now. <laughs> oh yeah, I think Tara, your dog Charlie has seen Warrior Nun how many times now? Oh yeah, probably like fifty times. Yeah, I'm gonna get my dog. Uh, she's gonna have a sister, sister Charlie outfit pretty soon, I think. So yeah. Charlie's closet. angel. Yeah. Oh, oh even good. better. That's good. I like it. Charlie's <laughs> angel. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Christina. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Christina. Appreciate it. Like girls that like nerdy things.